Hi, please don't mind us. This is Australian brush tail possum. Look at those big glowing eyes. Are you delicious? You look delicious. Yum, 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 yum. So, we found a meat shop that would sell possum meat. So, today we are going to visit this meat shop and see what they have to offer. Very exciting. Hello. <laughs> and here we are at the Bill Conan Fresh Food Market. That is our meat shop over there. We are like camel. Garlic. Imu. Wallaby. You guys carry any possum meat? Possum in the freezer. Oh, I see. Thank you. Yeah. Where does your possum come from? Tasmania. Tasmania. So why Tasmania? Why can't we just eat one on campus? Good question. They're protected here in Canberra. They're not protected in Tasmania. Oh, they're not. And oh. New Zealand. New Zealand and Tasmania. Here in Canberra, there's still plenty of them, but they won't let us eat them. The that is possum. huge. <laughs> Just, that's got just the meat. Maybe that. Maybe that's one. Okay. So where is it today from? Crocodile Territory. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, now we know. Apparently, possums are not protected in Tasmania. That's why we're eating Tasmanian possums. It's not because they taste better. <laughs> so we've got... What did we buy? <laughs> possum meat, crocodile. Possum meat from... From, Tasmania. Yeah, possum meat from Tasmania, crocodile from, from Northern, Northern, Northern Territory, and, and uh, a really thinly sliced emu, which is gonna become a schnitzel. Very excited about it. And here's our tiny little emu flan. So, first, any kind of plain flour would do, and move on to the egg. Soft but chewy. Very good. Boom. <laughs> Been trying to think what we can compare the emu meat to, and I think we came to a conclusion that it's kind of like duck meat, but a really soft duck meat. It's like duck have a baby with a cow, and that's an emu. That's what an emu meat kind of feels and tastes like. One meat tick off the bucket list. We have now tried the emu meat. Now the next one, possum, is coming. Mm. Mm. So good. Homemade yogurt, not by me. <laughs> bon appetit. Very, very soft. Very similar to wallaby. The first bite, I thought these were good, but I think I changed my mind. I think they they really belong in a stew. Very too tough to make a stir fry of. Possum meat, crocodile meat. Tip here is just grilling some of these meats so we get the real taste of what they really like without any seasoning. I think grilling the meat without any seasoning is a really a good way of actually tasting the new kind of meat that you've never had before and to figure out what kind of cuisine you can make with it. I was just winging it, but she's way more systematic than I was. <laughs> we are about to try the pure grilled possum meat without any seasoning. It's pork. I think, wow. So similar to pork. It is really similar to pork. That possum thing running around campus are just tiny little pork. Smells sweet. Now we are testing some grilled ostrich. Mm. Mm. Thicker than the possum. 
it's duck, but it doesn't have a texture of duck, not really. Mm. A little bit, mm. little bit similar to duck, but I think it's still like duck and cow made a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Northern Territory Crocodile chicken. It's chicken Yeah, that's why I thought of alligator Alligator is definitely chicken Hey Pip, what's your background again? Were you a zoologist before? You know yes. so much about animals and meat? Yeah, I'm a zoologist <laughs> I think that's what she had been doing during her field trip back in the day when she spent time in the wild just eating wildlife No, 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 that's not true <laughs> I spent time in the wild for conservation of the wildlife but like if it's legal like this one we can eat it without being arrested it's a chance to, to try, right? Yep, agree. Oh, the crocodile meat here is becoming black pepper stir fry. It smells really good. Got her own little garden right here, and that's the uh, cilantro. As you guys saw, that the crocodile has turned into some black pepper stir fry. The possum meat is about to turn into lap, which is another Thai dish. Yeah, northeastern Thai dish. What was supposed to be an authentic lap? Is it pork or raw beef? Mm, what is it? I always see ground pork. Because it's cheaper, I think. If you go to the village, to the local house, it's possible they prefer to use beef, roast beef. I see. Ah. Oh, that's why we're using roasted possum. Yeah. So besides green onion, shallots, the meat, there's a cilantro or coriander, as Australian would call it, which will be put afterward because I hate coriander, and chili pepper, fish sauce, and roasted rice and lime juice. Why is it coming? Oh, what? Oh, shoot. Wait, where is that coming from? I wasn't done shopping. <laughs> it's not coming apart. That's a terrible shopping skill for me. Sorry. Uh, mm. Very good. This is very authentic. Beer and lab. It is currently 11.44 according to my phone This is Canberra nightlife Thai student nightlife <laughs> Sticky rice, lab and beer at midnight Cheers, Cheers.